So today is the second day of synthetic division. Now, in the problems that we're gonna see here, these are kind of the more complicated versions of synthetic division, okay? Now they still work the same as far as the setup goes, but what it all means is a little bit different, okay? So the first one we're gonna do that's different, now usually most people are gonna do this using long division, but I, I don't like long division, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this doing synthetic division. The reason they do it in long division is because you're supposed to have a coefficient of one in front of your x term, and whatever you're dividing. But we're not gonna pay too much attention to that. We're gonna set it up the same. So we're gonna take the terms of our coefficients, eight, six, negative seven, and three. And we're gonna take our dividing piece, we're gonna set it equal to zero and solve for x. So we're gonna get x is equal to negative three over two. We're gonna put that over here in our little box. Now you're gonna to wanna to calculate or do these problems because Let's be honest, we all know a lot of you guys don't like fractions. <clears throat> but it works the same, okay, until the very end, and then we're going to show you the trick to fix this. So you drop the first number, gives you 8, just like you've been doing in synthetic division before. You multiply 8 times negative 3 divided by 2, which gives you negative 12. Add up those two numbers, 6 minus 12 is negative 6. Multiply negative 6 times negative 3 over 2, Gives you 9. Combine those two numbers. Negative 7 plus 9 is 2. And lastly, 2 times negative 3 over 2 is negative 3, which gives you 0. So now there's no remainder. So 2x plus 3 is a factor of our polynomial. Now, <clears throat> the trick about this is all the terms that we got, 8, negative 6, and 2, we're going to divide by the denominator of our fraction over here. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. Then because we started with x cubed, we're going to have x squared. Negative 6 divided by 2 is, sorry, negative 6 divided yeah, by 2 is uh, negative 3. x and 2 divided by 2 is positive 1. So if you're dealing with a fractional divisor, so we had negative 3 over 2, that's what we're dividing by. At the end, you're going to divide your numbers, your answer, by the denominator of your fraction. Okay, trust me, this is a lot easier than doing long division. All right, let's see the next one. I'm going to write the terms out. We got 6, negative 23, and 7. We set this equal to 0. We got x is equal to 1 third. So 1 third goes out here, and our setup is complete. Can we do synthetic division? We drop the first number. It gives you 6. 6 times 1 third is 2. Negative 23 plus 2 is negative 21. And negative 21 times 1 third is negative 7, which gives you 0 at the end. All right, again, we take our answers, the 6 and the 21, divide them both by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. Since we started off with x squared, we're going to get x. 21 divided by 3 is negative 7. There are no more x's. And this is our answer. Okay. All right, next. This one takes a little bit of work. I love these type of problems because I think they're kind of like a puzzle. Okay, so they work the same way, all right? But how you approach it is a little bit different. So you're gonna still set up your coefficients. You have seven, 21, but now our coefficient is negative a, and then minus six. X plus three is still our divisor, so we're gonna set that equal to zero, and X will equal negative three. So we're gonna put that out in front. So you're gonna kind of approach this in, in two directions. We're gonna start it off the same way we have been. Drop the first number, which gives you a seven. Negative three times seven, negative 21. 21 minus 21 is zero. Negative three times zero is zero. Now we don't know that number, okay? But we do know that it's a factor, okay? Which means this has to be zero at the back end. The only way that becomes a zero is if this is a positive six, and the way that becomes a positive 6 is if this number here is negative 2. Because negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. So now this we're going to make into an equation. Negative a plus 0 equals negative 2. We're going to solve that equation for a. This will go away because it doesn't mean anything. So you have negative a equals negative 2. Divide both sides by negative 1. And a will equal 2. 
And there's your answer. Okay? So you're going to go at the problem from both directions, at the beginning of the problem and then the end of the problem, using logic to think about what the numbers have to be to make sure that it's a factor. Let's show you again. <clears throat> Set it up. We have 9, 17, a, and negative 1. We take our number here, set it equal to 0, x will equal negative 1. So the setup is complete. Now we start the problem. Drop the first number, which gives you a 9. Negative 1 times 9 is negative 9. 17 minus 9 is 8. Negative 1 times 8 is negative 8. Now we need this to become a negative 1, or sorry, a positive 1 to get a 0. Okay, so how do we get 1? What do we multiply negative 1 by to get positive 1? Well, by negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 1 gives you positive 1. And now we take this and make it an equation. a minus 8 equals negative 1. So we add 8 to both sides, and a will equal 7. Okay, so it's kind of like a logic puzzle. You start it off, you get to a certain point, and then you work backwards to figure out what you need in order to get what you need, to get what you have to find out, okay? <clears throat> All right, so that was the unknown term. Lastly, we're going to do using graphs. Now, this is a lot easier than it seems. You're not given a factor to divide, but you're given the graph, okay? Now, in our first graph, we're given two points. There's a point here and a point here, but this point... I don't know what that is because it's not on a grid line. But the other point, I know that's negative 5. Okay, so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use that number as our divisor. So I'm going to have 3, 8, and negative 35 from our polynomial. I'm going to use negative 5 from our graph and synthetic division. Okay, and what this is going to do is it's going to tell me the other point on our graph. Okay, so we're going to drop the first number, which gives you 3. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. 8 minus 15 is negative 7. Negative 5 times negative 7 is positive 35, which gives me 0. So our factor is 3x minus 7, because that's if you look back to the top of the problem, it wants to know all the factors of the function. So this is one of the factors, 3x minus 7. The other factor, all right, that's negative 5, but it was when we solved it for x, so x equals negative 5. Now we're going to bring it back to the other side, x plus 5, to make it a factor. Okay, so if we're basically setting it back equal to 0. And these are your two factors, and that is your answer. Okay, make sure you put them both down. All right. So the same thing happens in this one. We have three points. We have a point here, a point here that we don't know, and a point here. We know this one is at positive 1, and we know the other one over here is at negative 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to use one of those numbers in synthetic division with the polynomial that we started with. So we have 5, 16, negative 17, and negative 4. Now you might be asking, which one do we have to use? It really doesn't make a difference. I'm going to use 1 because it's a smaller number. Okay, we could use negative 4. It doesn't make a difference. But it, the synthetic division works the same. We drop the first number. We get 5. 1 times 5 is 5. Uh, 16 plus 5 is going to be 21. 1 times 21 is 21. Negative 17 plus 21 is positive 4. 1 times 4 is 4, which gives you 0. So what we have here is the first factor of 1 is going to be... I'm going to write it over here, x minus 1. So if we set it up as x equals 1 and then put it back equal to 0, this is our factor. So that's one of the factors we're using. Now, we still have 5x squared plus 21x plus 4. And what you could do is you could factor this quadratic, but don't do that. Because we still have one of the other factors from our graph. So we can do synthetic division again. So we're going to put negative 4 out in front and do synthetic division with our answer of 5x squared plus 21x plus 4. Drop the first number, which gives you 5. Negative 4 times 5 is <clears throat> negative 20. 21 minus 20 is 1. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, 
which gives you zero. So now, this factor here is going to be x plus 4. So and since it was x equals negative 4, we set it equal to 0 and solve for it. Uh, put it back to setting it equal to 0, so we have x plus 4. So we have two factors that were given to us, x minus 1, x plus 4, and then we found the last one, 5x plus 1. And these are the three factors that make up that polynomial. All right. Again, it's very important that you go to the practice sheet and try these problems out. And then if you have questions, ask. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on with synthetic division that we're going to be using it for in this uh, unit. So you have to understand how all these pieces work using synthetic division to help you find the answers. So please practice, practice, practice.